We're in the cellar today. This chamberson has been aging for almost 20 months and it's time to bottle it. In this video, we'll give you some bottling tips to make the process faster and easier. And here's the first tip. If you're moving heavy carboys or small barrels of wine, place them in a milk crate first. It makes them easier to lift and move. Drop the device. Get away from that keyboard. Step outside into Shred World. You could use straps or handles to move carboys or barrels, but these don't seem very secure. Crates offer an option. You can move the wine yourself, or you can have someone help. To connect flexible tubing to rigid plastic racking components, form the end of the tubing in hot tap water first. We're using an auto siphon to start the flow. Usually when we place this in the carboy, excess wine will flow over the sides. So we place this lid there to contain the spill to make it easier to clean up. This is just a fiberglass container lid. We use a racking wand to fill the bottles. Press down to start the flow, let up to stop it. We rack a small amount of wine into a cup before we start to fill the bottles. It will come in handy later. You'll quickly learn how much wine to put in the bottles to allow airspace for the corks or closures. If you have too much, you can pour some out into that cup. And if you don't have enough, use a funnel and some of the wine in that cup to top up. Now it's time to close these bottles. If you're using corks, I've got some tips on how to use both floor corkers and handheld models. But first, if you're enjoying this video, please support the channel by hitting the thumbs up and subscribe buttons down below. Hitting thumbs up means you like a particular video, and hitting subscribe means you like the content of that channel. Both of these features are free. There's no charge or obligation to like or subscribe. A floor corker will pop a dry wine cork into a bottle with no problem. But dry corks don't always work well with hand corkers. And we want our corks to be sanitized before we place them. So we put a small amount of potassium metabisulfite solution into a container. Then we place something in the container to keep the cork suspended above the solution. In this case, a small funnel. We pour in the cork, cover the container, and let it sit for about 20 minutes. The fumes sanitize the corks and make them a little damp. On floor corkers, wipe the irises that squeeze the cork and the pin that pushes the cork with sanitizing solution before using. Keep a foot on the base to keep the corker from moving when you pull the handle. For hand corkers, wipe as much as you can with sanitizing solution before you start.
Use an overhand grip to make it easier to push down. We write on the top of the cork with the name of the wine and the year. This helps us avoid confusion if we're bottling different types of wine on the same day. And it identifies the wine if the label should come off. If you're using shrink capsules for the top of your bottles, be aware that they come in different widths and lengths. You can put these on the bottles by inverting them into boiling water, but we think it's safer to use a hair dryer or a heat gun. Put a glove on one hand to hold the capsule firmly against the top of the bottle, and then start heating at the top. Then gradually work your way down the sides. It usually comes out pretty smooth. Now you just need to add some labels and you're finished. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already done so, why not like and subscribe?